Hi. So before I go way in depth in this video, I just want to say thank you. Yes, this is meant to be like a state of the channel, things that are coming up soon type video, but I felt that saying thank you first and foremost because it was important to me to let you know that I appreciate every single one, every single last one of you, especially over the course of what happened last week, which I shall get into in a minute. So yes, long story short, too long, didn't read. I almost got evicted from my home last week. I was three months behind on my rent due to me being unemployed since March. And the plan that I initially had to find employment slash keep up the income in order to generate it to, you know, make monthly payments uh, for my rent specifically after I came back from VidCon, didn't necessarily pan out the way that I wanted it to. So over the course of those three months outside of making videos, I was just making what I could to give to my landlord to possibly pacify them until, I, until things got to the way that I wanted them to, or I was able to find a suitable job to like get things back to a sense of normalcy. And by the time that I actually did find a job, things didn't work out well as far as me solidifying me getting that job and making sure that I was able to, you know, attend the court hearing that they like put in my behalf in order to explain myself. Like I literally had to miss my eviction court date in order to meet both the first and final interview for this three month temporary position that I got currently. And wouldn't you know it, because because it's me and my luck, the first my first week of payment that my direct deposit hits is the week that they put that that they put that hot ass eviction notice on my door. And I want to let you all know, resorting to asking for you guys for help was a very last resort and I realized that I was going to have to ask you guys because I have over the course of like the past two and a half years kind of ran out of options thankfully outside of the call for help that I personally put out on Twitter on YouTube which for some of you who are wondering if it was a scam bot that got a hold of my account, I assure you, it was not. That was that was me. That was actually me letting you know that I was in need of help. Outside of what I did, a lot of my YouTuber and creative friends just just went above and beyond to help get the word out. Scott from NerdSync, Jason Massey from my old D&D podcast, Dungeons and Randomness, they were incredibly clutch and helped get the word out to the point where everybody, all of you were able to help me secure enough funds to give to my landlord before like the, the bail bonds or however, whoever it is, the sheriff deputy or how, I don't know how evictions work. Because, so it was like whoever is supposed to come to evict me from my house came out. It was, it was clutch and I ran into a lot, a few snags that I had to put in a lot more effort and make sure everything went the way went as smoothly as it did but thanks to you guys I was able to pull it off and I honestly could not have done it without you so thank you thank you so much as far as the state of Breeders 101 is concerned um I need to take a week off <laughs> like this week and I'll explain why so before all this happened with the eviction and whatnot, I was in the process of starting work on the next Patreonathon, which I have planned for this October. For those of you who are unfamiliar, Patreonathon is a thing that I started after, since I opened up my Patreon, where all of the exclusive content that will be released on my channel once I hit certain tiers for, pay, for, for my Patreon will be released as if I've unlocked all the goals for a month. The first Patreonathon happened in April of 2019 in which I released two full-fledged movie reviews, two full-fledged anime season reviews, 
a book report slash review and a video essay which was my as it currently is magnum opus the problem with thanos i've also been planning another patreonathon for october involving me reviewing the first season of my hero academia demon slayer alita battle angel then um and a video essay regarding the Halloween reboot and how its narrative kind of has parallels with the Me Too movement. But with me starting my new job at the be very beginning of the month, like the day after Labor Day, and the whole eviction scare that I had just last week, I wasn't able to get any progress done on any of those projects. So in order for me to get to where I need to be in order for Patreonathon to be ready for October, I need to take a week off. Outside of this video, I just need to I just need to take all this whole last full week of September and just focus on writing the scripts and just like recording the videos and editing and then Next week, I will be back on my regular schedule and at the same time ready to release the October Patreonathon content for you all. Which means if you had plans to either join my Patreon or or increase your donate monthly donation to my Patreon if you are currently donating, I would honestly wait until October because that's when I'll be not only reviving the Patreon to make it a bit more manageable and make the rewards easier for me to manage and like properly distribute but you'll also have you'll also be able to take advantage of all of the perks all of the giveaways I have planned for October um, things of that nature but yeah that's pretty much everything that's been going on with me currently and what I have planned for at least October there will be Rita's rights videos happening in November but instead of them taking up the, the traditional time slot, they will be in an extra video every Wednesday in the month of November. So, so 12 noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern is when my usual video will come out. And then 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern will be when the Readus Writes video will come out on Wednesday, every Wednesday in November. Also, because a lot of people have been asking about this and wondering about the status of it because I've been posting videos about them lately. Due to Warner Brothers Television cracking down and finding my videos and keeping me from collecting ad revenue from them, unless I add it as a Patreon tier, DC discussion is going to have to be put on hold indefinitely, unfortunately. And while at the same time I do enjoy making DC discussion, it's it was a thing that I wanted to do at least try to see try to see if I can do on an annual base on a weekly basis. I'm not gonna I'm I'm honestly not going to lie. Having to watch weekly episodic episodes of TV shows as opposed to just like you know binging everything right then and there it was. It was exhausting to me and a bit draining. It was, and it, it was, I was starting to lose love over the concept, if you understand what I was talking about. So, along with the fact that I wasn't getting properly, I wasn't properly getting monetized for those videos because even despite how I was formatting them to keep to keep Warner Brothers in DC from, you know, collecting the ad revenue for themselves. Having to watch Young Justice Outsiders and Doom Patrol on a weekly basis, just kind of like for the for like the past month or so, started to feel more like work to me, and that's pretty much why I enjoyed the small break that I had between the first half of Young Justice Outsiders and the first episode of Doom Patrol, and why I felt more invigorated during Doom Patrol. If you were able to catch catch like able to realize that from watching the videos. But yeah, not only do I prefer the the Netflix slash first generation Hulu aspect of like just watching everything, taking notes and giving my giving my thoughts that way. But Warner Brothers Television in DC has just been cracking down on making sure that the videos that I make or the videos in general are either are either flagged or they collect the or they collect the profit from the ad revenue. So it's 
not looking like it's going to be a thing anymore unless I do it. I do it first. I, it's it's funded by Patreon. That's the only way I can think about it. But with that being said, like I said, Patreonathon is coming up. And while I am reworking some things on my Patreon, I'm open to suggestions. So if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see on my Patreon in order to in order to like in order for you to want to sign up, um, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. But yeah, thank you all for your support. Thank you all for helping me with this clutch ass rent situation, whether it was you whether it was you donating or getting the word out. Thank you for continuing to watch my videos and 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 helping me through this journey of trying to establish something here on YouTube. I really appreciate it. And for everybody who has chipped in, who doesn't regularly watch me, and you're watching this video, hi, my name's Laron Ritas. I do comedic commentary on geek and pop culture every, and I review movies and TV shows and do comedic sketches. I release videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and every other Fridays. But until then, this is Ritas 101. Class dismissed.